Let us learn what are the Java features. The first one is object oriented. Any Java language when you talk about you need to understand what an object oriented means. In Java anything and everything is about object. Every object has certain data and behavior associated with it. So a Java is nothing but it provides you a software where all the objects incorporate or communicate with each other through these data and behavior. As we said in Java we need to first learn what an object is right. So in the world given anything that you consider is an object. A world can, can be considered as an object, an animal can be considered as an object, a human can be considered as an object, anything that you take. Let us take as a human. What does a human does right? So what are the data or what are the behavior of a human? A human has certain complexion, a human has certain name or age, these are nothing but the data about a human. And what are the behavior? A human is sleeping, talking, walking, etc. The next feature is of Java is platform independent. When we say platform independent, what do you understand by it? First of all, what is a platform? A platform may be a software or a hardware based, where Java is a software based platform where we convert our source code into a byte code and this byte code can be run in any of the platforms. So a byte code can be run in multiple platforms, therefore it becomes platform independent. Next it says Java is simple and secure. First of all, let us take what do you mean by simple? Why simple? Why Java is simple? In Java, we the syntax that we write in Java is similar to C++. So the Java language which is written in C++ should also hold certain features of C++. But the complex features of C++ were removed in Java. Some of the examples are pointers, then operator overloading, etc. Another one advantage which makes Java as a simple language is because the unreferenced objects are automatically removed by the garbage collector. You do not have to explicitly remove. And why Java is secure? There are certain features which make Java secure. Example, the byte code, what it does is that it search if there is any illegal code which violates the access to the object. And it also executes the Java program in its virtual machine. There are another things like a class loader. What it does is that it provides advanced security by separating the package for the local class file and that you import from the network. There are certain other advantages like security manager. What it does is that it provides a restriction on the class what all resources that you can read or write. The next feature is architectural neutral. Why do you say it is an architectural neutral? Because there is no implementation dependency. What do you understand by this? Let us consider an example of an int type. In C++, the int type it consists of 2 bytes for 32 bit architecture, 4 bytes for 64 bit architecture. Whereas in case of Java, there is no such kind of an implementation dependency. What it does is that it occupies 4 bytes for both 32 and 64 bit architecture. The rest features are Java is portable. What do you mean by portable? Because Java has a byte code which can be carried to any other platforms, it becomes portable. Java is also strong, that is nothing but Java is robust. What are the features that make Java robust? These are like you have exception handling, you have garbage collector, you have the concept of pointer which was difficult has been removed. So certain these features make Java strong. The rest features are multi-threaded. In Java, it is possible or Java allows you to run n number of tasks at one given time. The main advantage of using the concept of multi-threading is that you can run n number of tasks or n number of threads at one time by sharing one memory. You do not need separate memory for each of the threads. The rest are interpreted and high performance. Why do you think using Java is of high performance? The other traditional interpretation are more higher or takes much more time than Java. Why? Because Java byte code is near to the native code. The next one is distributed and dynamic. 
what makes java distributed so java first of all it allows you to build distributed applications distributed applications is nothing but where you can access the resources over the network and how is it possible you have certain called remote method invocation and enterprise java bins which allows you to develop or create these distributed applications and the last one is dynamic how can you say a java is dynamic why because where you have the source code these source code which is built in one system can be executed in any of the platform because the dot class file is generated at the runtime so anything or any application that generates a class file at the runtime are dynamic so in this slide or in this video we have learned what a java is all about why do we need java what are the advantages of java the main concern that you need to remember a java has a garbage collector which remove the unreferenced objects automatically and the difficult concepts are removed by itself